Good afternoon, this is Patrick Murphy at the National Weather Service office in northern Indiana here with the latest on the impending winter storm. Blizzard warnings continue for southwest lower Michigan into northwest Indiana with winter storm warnings posted elsewhere. We're looking at fl flash freeze conditions later this evening and into early tonight as an arctic front moves through the snow especially near Lake Michigan will continue uh, through the day Friday and Friday night and on into Saturday morning. Significant blowing and drifting even where the snow has diminished farther south, but blizzard conditions will be mostly confined near closer to Lake Michigan along with the very, very cold temperatures. Saturday afternoon, gusty winds still with lake effect snow showers, Dangerous cold conditions and blowing snow continues. On Sunday, it'll remain cold. Uh, brisk winds will bring dangerous wind chills, but not as severe as what we'll see on Friday. This storm won't be anything like the 1978 blizzard, even though you may have seen something to that effect on social media. This is more of a, a one in every five to ten year event, more akin to the Valentine's Day 2015 or Groundhog's Day 2011 uh, winter storm slash blizzards. The next update will be issued tomorrow morning. The map of the expected snowfall through 7 a.m. Sunday is here. Most of the snow that will fall south of uh, US 30 will occur through midday Friday and the lesser amounts from east central Indiana into northwest Ohio could actually be a little bit higher in that amount uh, area because of the snow that's going to fall overnight tonight with snowfall rates approaching an inch per hour even a, an extra half hour of that you know heavy snowfall rate will have a uh, significant impact on on totals closer to the lake we're actually having higher confidence in those uh, higher end values of a foot or more from the toll road South Bend area northward into southwest lower Michigan. Taking a look at our flash freeze, for instance, go to Logansport at 5 p.m., 32 degrees, and in a, only a few hours later, uh, below single digit uh, readings at Logansport, and that cold air sweeps east, and we'll see the transition to colder sub-freezing air into northwest Ohio late this evening. This is a look at uh, timing for sub-zero wind chills tonight from Benton Harbor to Marion by 6 to 8 p.m. and that spreads eastward and with northwest Ohio uh, roughly around midnight uh, getting into the sub-zero wind chill temperatures. And middle screen for instance, Monticello at 8 below at 7 p.m., all the way down to 28 below zero. Very, very dangerous uh, wind chills by 2 a.m. The strongest winds, 40 to 50 miles an hour, will be behind the Arctic front tonight. And those wind speeds will continue into Friday. May actually be even a bit higher uh, during the midday portion of the day. And that will likely lead to at least scattered power outages. The wind direction from the west will cause significant blowing and drifting, especially on north-south oriented roads. Looking at the coldest wind chills uh, late tonight through midday Friday, uh, 30 to 35 below in many locations. Not too much better, but starting to get uh, 15 to 25 below on Saturday and then 0 to 15 below on Sunday so gradually we'll get out of this uh, extreme cold but Friday will be the most dangerous cold wind chills. Confidence on timing is rather high. The event is unfolding right now as uh, we speak and uh, it's right on track, so uh, that looks good. Uh, snow amounts, medium confidence, highest uh, confidence up there in the higher lake effect regions. Uh, uh, certainty is the bitter cold and the uh, holiday travel impacts will be uh, high to extreme. Blizzard warning and winter storm warnings continue for your area. Please be safe and stay warm.